We are super excited to be meeting our son Forrest in Dubai for Thanksgiving this year. God told us in April to purchase tickets for Dubai. We were not sure why we were going, but um, turns out we were meeting Forrest there. And so I went ahead and bought Forrest's ticket before he even got a release to meet us from his boss. There was a lot of resistance to letting him go because they had a performance in Taiwan two days after our trip. So he was going to be missing a lot of rehearsals, but we fasted and prayed for 21 days. And on the 21st day, they released him to come. And we are super excited. Waiting for Forrest. We just got off the plane. Dave is over here trying to grow bags. The museum. Oh. oh what? Oops. That is beautiful. She was like, you are so strong. She was like, body strong, mind strong, ego strong, soul so strong. You're just so strong person. And I was like, yeah. Do you like it, honey? Do you have tap water with ice? We're, we're indoor ski slope here. Oh, we go. Say hello. Where's the baby? Baby's looking at the menu. Oh, what's on the kids' Happy menu? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. Thanksgiving. It's morning over there. Thank you, Forrest. Are you getting a video of that? Yeah. Thanksgiving meal. Forrest is jumping on the trampoline. Oh, look here. <gasps> So, I'm going to do uh, a pregnancy test. Wow, she really hasn't slept like at all. I got back to the room at like 1.10. It's like six hours ago. You haven't really slept, have you? You're just up. 
Who gave you Red Bull? <laughs> Mom, did you give her a Red Bull while we weren't looking? Secretly sabotage our night. Are you checking the monsters before you fed her? I don't want to speak that rock stars. <laughs> She seems so unaffected by vomiting. Yeah, well, I noted that when she was spitting up as like a six month old. Didn't you go in there to do something? Uh, yeah. To go face cream. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure you were supposed to take a pregnancy test. Tell us the results. We don't care about your face cream. Yeah, she's a really <laughs> happy kid and a baby. Oh. <laughs> and Forrest found a fun, interesting way to make her smile. <laughs> oh, yay, giggles. Yeah. Oh, you gotta sit up. Use your abdominals, come on, one sit up. Another one of you. We're pregnant with Asher. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Yes. She's scaring her. You're scaring her. She has a slept. Jesus, oh no. Uh, Forrest is like, she seriously has not slept. Like, jumping up for six hours like straight. Boy. No, she's been up since three o'clock. Mm. Come here. Wait, go, go. Hey, buddy. Mama? Mama? Uh -huh. That's him. That's brother. Oh. <laughs> she's going to get to an age where she'll sleep perfectly through the night and you're going to have to do it all again. She sleeps through the night now. She just, it's yeah, she does. eight hour time difference. So. She sleeps through the night, however, time, uh, the night starts at like four in the afternoon here. <laughs> Actually, you ain't shooting blanks, Dave. <laughs> oh, indeed, I am the not. The first possible time after the ceremony. Wait, did you pee on my end of this? It's, yeah, it's in the. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's due on August the 11th. I'll have three. Leo, baby? Mm hmm. Three August baby, or uh, August people in the immediate family. Mm hmm. You sure. won't even be two. Oh, August birthdays. You won't. You won't quite be two. Told you. A long time ago. I said I was having two more babies. Mm -hmm. Two more babies. I actually want to call Lynn. That's the first person I thought of that I wanted to tell after she was born and Asher was born. She, she just, she was so, so, I was like, yeah, my mom's going to have two more kids. It's going to be a girl and then a boy. And she's going to name it Abigail Rose and Asher. And she would not believe that. You would not possibly know. It's not. No. <laughs> like, I haven't talked to her forever. I'd be like, yeah, my mom has a, a one-year-old girl and she just, she has a it's Asher. Remember when I told you in the kitchen? <laughs> oh, it's you. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, she 
was like, you can't know the sex before this early. I was like, no, you can't. You're not a prophet. <laughs> um, I am happy with whatever comes, but I'm pretty well committed to Sasha. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dasher. Yeah, sure. We'll see you um, Crispy cream. I'm here in Dubai. I'm in the lobby of the hotel. There's like a club in this hotel, so people are gonna be coming and going over here to my side, going into the chameleon club. I've been to the pool. I have tried all the different Wi-Fi um, connections. I am here to tell you tonight, the word of the Lord is, though it tarries, wait for it. Though it might not have happened when you thought it would, do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. Put your hope in God. Praise Him and still believe. Continue to believe. Didn't happen how you thought it was going to happen. Y'all, there's a club behind me. <laughs> this is just where I could find where it would come on. So there's just like a lot of resistance right now. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It, that one thing might not have happened the way that you thought it was happen. I mean, I thought... There was a, a season there. I thought if I was going to be marrying somebody else. I prayed and fasted. It wasn't that person. Maybe it wasn't the person you had hoped it was. But God is going to do what he said he's going to do. And this is not just relationally. You might be... Listen, I have had injuries before that I have sat on these, prayed through them, had people lay hands, gotten healed a little bit here, gotten healed a little bit there. But if the Lord has promised you healing complete and total healing you don't you keep going to that light at the end of the tunnel and you hold on and you believe and you listen and you work out your salvation with fear and trembling you ask the lord is there anything in me that's blocking it is there any seed that i need to sow
that's cool. at the mall because Abigail Rose had severe jet lag and bless her little heart she's not been able to hold any food down she's had a little bit of diarrhea so we got her some Pedialyte we're hoping that will do the trick she's ate a cracker so God answered that prayer he's so good I don't think we've ever prayed for a tinky diaper this hard. Mm -hmm. I don't know about bouncing her though after all that fluid. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, Daddy wondered if that contributed. Sweet girl. Mm -hmm. She loves to play with my hair. She's going to sleep. Mm -hmm. She'll just look at it, finger it. Either mommy's hair or her own hair. Oh, I feel better just haven't got the Pedialyte. Mm -hmm. Need some more good sleep. Do you think this, it's likely she'll get jet lag from going home? Well, she's still badly jet lagged now. It'll probably be closer to normal for her. She might have a little fallout from this, but probably nothing near as bad. Being home and being able to sleep whenever. Yeah. That'll help. Familiar surroundings will probably make it easier too. Mm-hmm. You can get far from something. Mm-hmm. Hey guys. So what 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 what? what? <laughs> <laughs> The stand. We're gonna give it to him because he left his stand at home. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. Hey, do baby. So it's raining in Dubai while we're here. We can take it as a good sign. <laughs> Rain has been a symbol of the Lord's blessings throughout the Old Testament. Another mall, just down the street from the last mall we were at. Oh, this is a good view, good view of the city. Um, oh, the rain on a wet chill. Little baby knocked out. We put Forrest on the on the plane. We missed them already. found a piece of music um, by Vivaldi that really moved me and I just felt a lot of different types of movements that I wanted to create every time I listened to it. When I got into the studio and had the chance to work with bodies in front of me, um, it kind of just poured out, I guess. My collaborator is Chloe. Um, she uses a lot of abstract expressionism in her paintings. Chloe's work um, is going to be, she's going to be using three different themes of her artwork on imprinted on costumes and we're also working on projections on the floor and the white scrim on the back of the theater. I'm hoping, I haven't seen the projections yet, but I'm hoping that they will kind of match the movement quality that I've already instilled in my dancers. Um, so it will kind of be a support system for the dance steps and overall theme that I'm looking to go for. Oh, 
acting like, ooh, I chill back like, ooh, ooh, ooh. What if God was just like us? What if God moved like us? What if God cried like us? Struggle went on but the bus. Everybody on the same bus. Everybody want the same bus. Keep it real with my daily ones. Don't like nothing that baby. Fun and toy bus. Man, I swear I grew up these past four months. Shawty, what the crew is more than four of us. Made a hit and flew got open doors for us. What if God was like us? Taking this is a good sign. <laughs> the water is spreading. Wow. We're totally missing Forrest. This is the first evening walking back without him. He cried, I cried. We believe he's going to be working with us one day. Full time ministry. Okay, we're just gonna have to find a different way around. I have been bleeding, took two pregnancy tests yesterday, Dollar Tree pregnancy tests, but they were negative. So I'm here at the doctor's office with the baby. She had a doctor's appointment. She's doing good. She's doing good, but we're gonna see if I had a miscarriage, which I fear that I did. I've already had that uh, thinking feeling. I still have some hope, but two negative pregnancy tests, even though I had a positive one Sunday. So we're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. No matter what happens, God is sovereign and he is good. Jesus. So quick update. Abigail Rose is doing good. We went to the doctor today, both of us, um, and she is doing well. And, um, and I'm just going to say straight out of the... What is prompting this is I know you guys uh, who follow me know that we've been waiting um, to be pregnant and the Lord um, granted that wish. I was uh, on the way to Dubai, I realized I was late on my period. I took a pregnancy test on Thanksgiving Day with my son there positive super excited and I got attacked really really hard with some hardcore regional demons in Dubai I'm going to talk a minute um, about this I'm going to get into the message and this is pertinent to the message um, because sharing our testimony um, is part of how we overcome the enemy <clears throat> so um, super super excited I got sick 
Abigail Rose was deathly ill. She couldn't eat. She was having diarrhea. She'd throw up. She finally was able to drink milk. She got dehydrated from the really the jet lag. But also, I believe um, everything was a little bit worse. The enemy was really, really attacking me. And now that I'm home, God is downloading a lot of things that he has, He sent me over there for some purposes that I did not recognize while I was there. So I like to share my stories, mistakes that I've made, things that have happened, things that I've learned, things that I've done right, just to kind of put it all out there so you guys can pick through it. If there's anything that can bless you or that can be used by God to help other people, I just, I believe that it's important um, as a teacher to share that <clears throat> so I started bleeding the maybe the two days after I took that first test and was really concerned about it and looked uh, looked it up and it said it's fairly normal about 20% of the pregnancies do this um, and, but so uh, Sunday I took another test and I was you know still pregnant I was like I could thank the Lord but I was hit being hit so hard Sunday knowing the enemy was telling me, I'm trying to kill your children. I'm trying to abort this baby, and I'm trying to um, kill Abigail Rose. I just felt it. And I have to say, I was under such tremendous pressure. I had fear. I came into agreement a little bit with the fear. And, um, <clears throat> well, long story short, I did lose the baby. <laughs> So sorry, don't congratulate, but you can still congratulate me because I have, the thing is, I am no longer pregnant. I went to the doctor today and it started to hit me. I'm still bleeding, I was still bleeding, still bleeding. And like, I called the doctor and they were asking me about all these symptoms and stuff. And so, um, I was deathly ill vomiting on Sunday night which I believe was food poisoning but I also believe that that was the night that I lost the baby because I had some clots <clears throat> but anyway so it's very early on in the pregnancy this is why a lot of people don't <laughs> announce it right off but I, I don't regret announcing it because I think it's one of these things that it's important that I share these things it's 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 okay I, you know I was really really kind of bummed about it but, um, you know, I cried and confirmed. I went and had an ultrasound today, and she said I can try again in a month. <clears throat> yeah, and I do. I have no doubt I, that this is what I said. I have another child in heaven now because <laughs> I believe, that, you know, life happens at conception. Um, but uh, that was not Asher, apparently, because <laughs> that's still going to come to pass. <laughs>